Yo, reference getters, welcome back to the channel. Today, I found four random PowerPoint presentations regarding which Pokemon game is the best. So, without further ado, the first PowerPoint we got is one regarding Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver. If you guys watched the video I did on this, you already know how I feel. If not, go watch it. So, why Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver are the best games ever? They give you a free shiny Pokemon. Like, come on, bro. You've never seen a shiny before? You've never caught one? Well, guess what? This game will give you one for free. Yeah, how's that deal sound, huh? Dude, the Red Gyarados is epic and breaks the game because Dragon Rage. And yeah, dude, you can use it as an HM friend if you don't want to use it. Yeah, because it gets, like, Strength, I think, Rock Smash. Like, Surf, Waterfall, and Whirlpool. Like, you got four moves, you can slap on that Gyarados alone. Yo, dude, it's Gen 4, man. Think about all the great stuff Gen 4 has, dude. Like, it's got the best battle mechanics ever, bro. Listen, dude. This is before all that gimmicky nonsense came in with Generation 6, 7, and 8. This is back when the gameplay was at its finest. Yo, the terrible Gen 5 Pokemon don't exist. They can't hurt you. Listen, dude. The argument that Gen 5 Pokemon are terrible is just dumb. And far outdated, alright? I don't think the person who made this is a credible source. The gyms are actually hard. Lists B Whitney, Bugsy, and Claire as very hard. Clearly this guy forgets there's a Machop trade in Goldenrod City, so you can get a free uh, counter to Whitney's mill tank. Like, you get your map as early as Cherry Grove, you're gonna have it the whole game. Red. Yeah, they did put red in the game. Yeah. Yo, the bad Gen 4 stuff is gone. The E4 isn't dummy over leveled. That way I don't have to grind my Pokemon as much. The fog is gone. Okay, real talk, who thought fog was okay? Yo, Lugia is better than Palkia. No. Just no. You can get both box art legendaries. Yeah, if there's one thing I can give Heart Gold and Soul Silver credit for, it's allowing you to get both. Yo, Shiny Hunting's at its best. As I said in the Heart Gold and Soul Silver critique video, um, the starter resets are definitely the best within these these games. And that is it. Everything else is kind of bad. You have a lot of route to hunt on. Wow, you just spelled route instead of route. Congrats. Okay, listen, you have a lot of routes to hunt on, dude. You know how many routes have Pidgeys and Rattata on it? And how many fun caves got, like, Zubat in them? Like, practically all of them, dude. <laughs> like, so many of your routes are just duplicate encounters. There's a bunch of legendaries. Are you dumb? Do I need to make this easier? Charizard. That's a good arguing point right there. Lance has a Charizard. True. You can get a Charizard! Also true! Okay, it's... <laughs> Dub Mass? Wow, this guy just should have spelled that wrong. <laughs> okay. Listen, dude. Be sure to spell check things before you try to call somebody a Dub Mass, alright? Listen. There are two reasons these are the best. There are two regions. And Pokemon follow you. Yeah, Pokemon following you hurts the immersion of the game. It's got Kanto, come on. Guys, it, it's got Kanto, what, what more can we say? Like, they've got a really good selling point right here, right? This is why people like the original Gold, Silver, and Crystal so much. Because Kanto. And that's why Pokemon Heart, Gold, and Soul Silver are the best Pokemon games. And perhaps the best game ever made. Games, buddy, there's two of them. Oh boy, my brain is suffering some immense damage from that hellhole. While you have a moment, be sure to like, like and subscribe and like, leave a comment down below because cringe. I don't know. Alright, this next one is defending Pokemon Sword and Shield. This one is defending the argument of why they're the best Pokemon games ever. Oh boy, there's gonna be a lot of weak arguments in here. I can already tell. Bottom text. It's Generation 8, man. Look, dude, there's a bite, and it can go on water. I don't need to grind anymore. It's like, is, is, what, if? 
Like, if Diamond and Pearl, P-E-R-L, were gooder. Wow, what is this spelling, dude? Hold on. Wild areas are cool and big. True. Scorboonie. Why is there one N? Dude, can you spell? Scorbunny didn't become a fighting type. I wish it did just to piss people off. I'm not even gonna lie. It would have been great. Dynamax raids are fun. The competition between players to beat the Shedinja in raids are insane. This is something I can agree with. Um, Zassian does huge, da huge, huge damage. Wow. Other reasons. DLC is good. Surprise trade people. People. Surprise. Wow. They even spell surprise wrong. What? Surprise trade people. Give me my. F give me. Give me free shiny legendaries. I'm pretty sure that's the wrong use of legendary. I have like 18. Snom. Oh, great. We got one of these kids. Um, uh, Slowpoke got a new form. Other, other, other re, re, res, reson, re, resons, and what? You can catch Keldo. You spelled Keldio wrong. And re, resons. Bro. Dude, I am like halfway convinced that a child wrote this. I'm not gonna lie. Like, what is this, dude? What is this spelling? I'm dumbstruck right now. Like, but buddy, this image is so low quality. Why? Okay, I get it. You're, you, what? Okay, we get it, dude. You, you, you got us convinced that you're definitely, like, above the age of 18, bro. Alright. The camp feature is cool. Eh, it, it's fine, I guess. The one billion lions would win. Oh, buddy. It looks like you just graduated from math class. Congrats. There's just a random blank line. Awesome. Those monkeys from Gen 5 are gone, smiling face. Yeah, you know what? Pan Sage has a better design than Grookey. Your point? Honestly, a bad thing. There is an event for Shiny Amoongus. Is it good or something? Yes, Amoongus and Doubles is actually really solid. A bad thing. Um, Hop is annoying. True. Um, Hop Zashian is annoying. It's like somebody chose shield. Pokemon going big isn't fun. Yeah, Dynamax is kind of lame, not gonna lie. Definitely not a balanced mechanic. Spring back Z moves, man. The end, bro. You didn't even space out the only two words on the final slide. What are you doing? Alright, this one's titled Fire Red and Leaf Green are Epic. I like the font going on here. This might be an intellectual PowerPoint. Who knows? Let's see. We have Kanto, the most well-received region in the history of Pokemon. Look how much better it improves Heart Gold and Dull Silver. True. Such a simple layout, but effective and non-linear. Also true. And the Savvy Islands exist now, so it's even more cooler and epic. Yeah, the Savvy Islands are neat and all, but like, it's not that great. Improvements. Rock's Pokemon actually have a rock type move. True, Onyx does get rocked him. Honestly, just as a whole, movesets are actually tolerable now. When basically every trainer in the game had level of learn sets, you know there's an issue. It's a faithful remake. Yeah, it is. You know why? Because you can only use the Kanto Pokemon. There is amazing champ music. Sit down, Heart Gold, Soul Silver Lance. You're nothing. True. Bro. Heart Gold, Soul Silver, Lance, and like Diamond Pearl Platinum Cynthia are the most overrated champ themes ever, dude. There's a female trainer option. True. Held items. A great addition. I wonder what generation that came out in. Abilities. The trainer card can show your team on the back of it. Charizard. 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 Bro, where are the pixels at on you? Charizard. The Savvy Islands are a banger. <laughs> They're really not. New locations. I mean, that's kind of good. New music. I mean, technically they're GSC remixes, but those games are bad. True. Moltres is no longer just stuck in Victory Road. Dude, Rock Smash Boulders. Oh, there's an explosion move tutor. 
True. Explosion, good. Uh, more Savvy Islands. There's more? Why? There's not that much more to talk about, bro. There's a Battle Tower, but better. Yeah, the Trainer Tower. Uh, the Trainer Tower also has shiny Pokemon on some teams. There is an absolute load of named locations. The Team Rocket admins from HeartGold and Soul Silver were made here. Um, Ice Mommy does stuff in the post game. Yeah, I don't know why Lorelai ever had a uh, relevance in the post game, but she certainly did have dialogue. True. Uh, new trends. <laughs> Elite Four Round Two was made here. Yeah, the feature that makes the E4 teams not boring after post game. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, the move reminder returns, but better. What do you mean, but better? It's locked on one of the Sevy Islands. Like, I'm pretty sure it uses big mushrooms, so like you can farm it off like Paras or Parasect. Like, that's still rough. The rival champ fights having absolute banger music. True. Charizard could still learn fly via HM. Bro. Gold, silver, crystal did that, man. Cons. Link cable trading. Yeah. Yeah. Golbat stopped evolving. That's, that, that's it. Epic games. True. You're breathtaking. Just like the Kanto region, just ignore the newly added 1% spawns for poison types in the Celadon City water, hitting them at hard gold and soul silver. So yeah, fun fact, in red and blue, like, there were no poison types in that water. Oh, that's the last slide. Thanks for telling me it was over. Awesome. Now this guy is trying to defend Diamond and Pearl and why they're the best. Oh boy, why? Like, buddy, this isn't Platinum, what are you doing? <laughs> We already know this one's wrong. The region, the regions is vast and epic. Already got a typo in the first slide. Awesome. If you take the time to explore Sinnoh, you'll find new places. The region is very large. Yes, and there being a lot of ground to cover isn't always a good thing. Looking at the Sword and Shield wild area. The region has the best new Pokemon. Yeah, man, I can't wait to use uh, a Lopunny, which is completely tragic and not good. Thanks, man. I, I think I'll just use Snorlax instead. Shimshar is a starter. In fact, the best fire type around. See, it's like the guy knows there's only two fire types in the game. Well, two fire type evolution lines, right? It was just like, yeah, well, let's just cover that up real quick, but I'm gonna acknowledge it. But these sick features, dude. You can actually transfer your Pokemon from Gen 3. Yeah, true, this was the first game to have generational uh, transfer on it. Okay, guys, so like, fun fact, right? In uh, Diamond and Pearl, when you transfer your Pokemon, you can only transfer like one set of six every 24 hours. Yeah, that's pretty tragic. And then Heart Gold and Soul Silver removed that cap for some reason. Dude, there are two screens. Um, they got Poke Radar. True. Um, Poffin Making, right? That exists. Pokeball Seals, another forgettable feature. Thank you. You can catch God himself. True. But actually, technically, you can't catch Arceus, because technically his event was never released. These epic new Pokemon, Electivire, Magmortar, Rhyperior, Tangrowth, Magnezone, Glaceon, Porygon Z. See, I have an issue with this list, right? These are all Kanto Pokemon. Like, I understand it, man. We love the fan service to Kanto, but chill out, bro. Can we talk about the physical special split for a minute? No, I don't think we will. Yeah, we'll, we'll do it. Sneasel is actually usable now. Yeah, and guess what else exists? Weavile. So you don't need to use Sneasel. Hitmonchan actually has functional coverage now. Wow, this was like in the Heart Gold Soul Silver critique video where I mentioned both Sneasel and Hitmonchan. Wow, what a coincidence. But true, it can actually use the elemental punches. Wow. Dragon Dance can actually buff Dragon type attacks now. True. Dusknoir. <laughs> what about Dusknoir? Why? These game, these game are being remade, but not stinky black and white. <laughs> oh boy, guys, Gen 5 bad in the year 2021. Haha, -ha. I'm, I'm intelligent, dude. Yeah, totally, bro. <laughs> Brilliant diamond, shining pearl. Dude, I feel like these games are going to have some little nitpick that isn't the graphics. That's just going to upset people. Dude, the Sino Underground was lit. No. Like, yeah, it was good, but it wasn't lit. Like, yeah, it was fun to go screw around. The games literally had Capture the Flag. 
you know what else has captured the flag, boys? Halo. You know what? It's a 10 out of 10 game. There we go. Easy, guys. Diamond and Pearl are the best Pokemon games ever made. Congrats. There was a Charmander doll. Bro, why are three of these defending Charmander or Charizard? Bro, the spheres basically function as plants. True, but like, can we don't? It was the first game where you could get unlimited fossils. Sinnoh was epic. End of story. Gym leaders, epic. At E4, epic. You know what's wrong with that? The Elite Four battle music is nearly, nearly, it's not the same. It's very, very similar to the, cha uh, the gym leader theme, right? And it is a whole hell of a lot worse. Okay, where was I? And Cynthia, mmm, true. No. Guys, y'all need to quit, y'all need to like quit simping over her. Like, come on, bro. She's a video game character, bro. Stop. The day night cycle, but it was good. The distortion world. That's platinum, buddy. Legendaries and mythicals with different forms. Which legendaries and mythicals had different forms in Diamond and Pearl? Arceus? Like, the only other ones are, like, Shaman and Giratina. But, like, you implied legendaries as well, so it's like, you're counting Giratina, buddy. This isn't platinum! Bro. Like, you don't even know what you're arguing for! You're choosing the wrong game! Draco Meteor Move Tutor. A great addition to the game. Trick Meteor is great. The introduction of the National Pokédex, boys. Yeah, and you see what happened with Sword and Shield when the National Dex got removed. People started complaining and raising pitchforks and crying. That was fun. Your game is bad and mine is good. Go back to school, Phil. I think that's all the PowerPoints. I was like, I will be seeing you guys in the next one.